Hey guys, this is Adore again from iFlip Academy. So right now we're gonna do a quick video on team members. There is no I in team. Any business, especially this real estate business, um, is really built on not only you, but leveraging the efforts of your team members to get things done. In this business, a lot of times there's a lot of different moving pieces. You try to attack them all, you're definitely gonna fail. So one of the first team members is you need a title company. A title company is an ins essentially an insurance company that insures title against properties that you purchase or properties that you're flipping to other people. So a title company insures, uh, runs title, you know, checks to see what liens, judgments, debts, and stuff exist against the property. And if there are any, they work with you to help satisfy those liens, whatever might be owed. So you need a title company. But further than that, you need an investor-friendly title company. Not all title companies are equal. So how do you find this? How do you find the uh, title company? Simple. You network with other investors and you find out who they're using. What you'll find out, like I said, all title companies aren't created equal. In your local market, you'll have certain title companies that investors feel very, very, very comfortable to to go to. It might be because who the title, who, who the underwriter of that title company is, or those investors do a lot of volume with that title company so they get certain discounts, or that's just the go-to title company. They do a lot of investor work. They know how to work with uh, dirty titles, uh, stuff that REOs, tax liens, and stuff like that. So you want to be working with a title company that can help you out if you get stuck in certain situations. Next, if you're rehabbing, your most crucial team member, your team member that'll make or break you, contractor or contractors. So what happens with a lot of people that get started with renovating, renovating properties, fixing a flip, or even buying and holding and renovating properties is they'll hook up with a not so solid rehabber and a rehabber will burn them. What does burn you mean? A contractor burning you looks like <laughs> you paying half. So say your, your renovation job costs total materials and labor cost $30,000 contractor makes you give them 15,000 up front, which you should never do by the way, but that that's another video. So you give the contractor 15 grand up front. Uh, they start the first phase of rehab, start the demo work, and then they disappear. So now you're out of 15 grand, or you can't find this contractor anymore, and you still have $30,000 worth, worth of work that you have to do. So when looking for a contractor, only, only, only deal with people that have been referred to you by other investors. People that you've been able to visually see the work they've done, seeing what kind of jobs they do, seeing them on the job site, so on. Don't hire any guys off of Craigslist. Next, a local mentor. A local mentor is worth his weight in gold. Somebody that's already doing essentially what you're trying to do in your, old, in your own marketplace. And sometimes it can be virtual, but somebody that's essentially doing what you're looking to do and has a vested interest in just seeing you succeed. Uh, this is really when my business had a breakthrough was being able to just talk with somebody run, you know, run different, different things past them. Oh, what does this mean? What does this look like? You ever encounter this? And him being able to answer the questions. Okay, do this, do that. You know, you shouldn't be focused on this, but focus on that. And it just gives you a lot of insight and it kind of shortens your learning curve a bit. So if you can, find a mentor. 
Insurance. If you're rehabbing properties, you need a solid insurance team uh, that makes sense in terms of rates and coverage and stuff like that. Ha ha ooh. Hazard insurance, uh, liability insurance, stuff like that. Um, realtor. You need a realtor on your team. If you're rehabbing, uh, you're going to need somebody to A, sell your houses if you're fixing the flip. Or on the front end, you need somebody. One thing you absolutely need, starting out, access to the MLS. Gold. A lot of people tell you, you know, go, go on Zillow, go on all these sites. No. What you want to do, what you need, is access to the MLS. The MLS is the multiple listing service. That's where realtors and real estate professionals list properties for sale. This is like the, the general go-to marketplace for properties. It's how you can evaluate comparable properties, all that kind of stuff. It's where you find listings of REOs, people that list their properties with realtors. So you need access to the MLS. And you can get it via a licensed real estate professional realtor agent. Next, finance, money. If you're flipping properties, you're actually taking possession to them, where are you getting the money from? If you're starting out, uh, one avenue is dealing with small local banks. Don't go to PNC, Bank of America, don't, don't waste your time. They're, they're not gonna finance you um, unless your name ends with Trump. So you wanna deal with small local portfolio lenders. What does that mean? These are banks that actually keep their loans in-house. These are small local banks. They don't have thousands of branches across the country. So what does that mean? They value your money. You're coming into a small local bank and you're dumping all your money in there. They're going to call you sir. And they're going to have a, a, a different kind of respect for you. And they have a vested interest in seeing you succeed because they're local. Another avenue is private money lenders. The, if you can't get finance or conventional financing is not working out for you, is finding folks, just regular everyday individuals that have money and that are tired of lackluster returns from CDs, savings accounts, money markets, mutual funds, and all of that stuff. And you're saying, hey, I'm gonna triple, quadruple your return and they're gonna be secure because they're backed by real estate. So you wanna be able to fund your deals. Other way to fund your deals, the last option is uh, hard money, which is basically paying a eye gouging interest rate. It's uh, investor friendly financing. And basically you're paying anywhere from 12 to, 12 to 15% interest uh, with a couple points up front to be able to finance the property. And the thing with hard money is get in and get out as quick as possible because it's very expensive. But if you have nothing else and you gotta do a deal, what can you do? Our next one, VA. VA stands for virtual assistant. I have virtual assistants in the Philippines, India. One thing you wanna be focused on you want to be spending your time on actual money making activities money making activities a money making activity is not admin work it's not excel spreadsheets it's not administrative tasks but those those tasks are very essential so you want to have somebody that's competent and that can take care of that for you and that you could pay like three two four dollars an hour at the very most can't beat it last but not least if you're buying and buying to hold if you're a landlord you need a property manager great thing about landlording is passive income but you don't want tenants calling you at two in the morning talking about come fix my toilet sir so you want somebody that's taking care of that for you 
And that, my friends, completes the list of team members. And uh, yeah, once again, this is Adora from iFlip Academy signing out. See you later.